Hello everyone. I want to make a quick review of this Lionel train set. It's $80 on Amazon and overall it's a cool set, but I really do not think it's the best toy for kids. Here's why. I think this is a perfect product for something, say around a Christmas tree or something that's kind of a decoration for your home. Maybe if you're into kind of things like this or you know, if guests come over, you can run the train around a track and it'll look nice, but this really is not a fun toy. And here are a couple of reasons why. First off, you do get four wagons, so you get obviously the locomotive, you get the coal train, and then you have two passenger trains, which are essentially the same, but they are actually a little different. So you have to put them in a specific order. As you can see here in the back, there's no hookup for this one. So this is the last cart. So you can't kind of reverse it or put her however way you want. Now, here's the reason why this is not the best toy. The, essentially nothing on these moves. There's, there's nothing that opens. There's nothing cool for a child to do. In fact, when we gave this to the, to the kids, they had a blast, but after 10 minutes of us kind of putting the, the train on the track and everything, every two minutes they'd scream that the train came off the track and they need help. As you can see on this locomotive, there are rear, front and rear parts that move. And obviously on the standard trains, you got something like that as well. And uh, the kids being two and almost four, had a really hard time getting this aligned on the track and essentially just ended up being something every two minutes, you're like, come help me put this back in the track, come help me put it back in the track. And to add with the fact that it would be nice, for example, if this was a cargo cart. So you could put something in it, you could have something that opens, something that's fun to play with, but on none of these, there's, there's nothing that opens, no doors, and there's nothing to play on a single one of these. But if they're just completely sealed, they're great to look at, they look great, but it's just, it's not a fun toy. Like I said, if you have this ride around your Christmas tree, that's fantastic and it'll look cool and be awesome, but it's just, yeah, that, that, that's what it's good for. I would not recommend this for a child. I'd, I'd get something there you can, you know, like cargo cards, something you put things in, play stuff, uh, put people in here, maybe something will open, you can see something inside, but there's none of that. And the kids have gotten very bored of it very quickly. To add to that, you do need six C batteries to run the locomotive, which it does not come with, so that's not particularly cheap. And the fact that the set is $80, I know it's, it's kind of expensive, but it, it is a nice set. I mean, it looks pretty. So for 80 bucks, I think it's a fair price for all you get. And yeah, you obviously have to buy the batteries, the AAA batteries for the remote and six C batteries, which is quite a lot. And if kids would not forget to turn off the remote or the train, that you know, the mo that money goes out pretty quick. Also, like the, connect the way that connectors are, they're a little difficult to, to add the other cart. It looks simple, but the problem is that for children, when they try to connect this, they always lose track of the train and it, it's now not on the track. And this is another thing, is that when you build a standard track that kind of goes in an oval, the train, if you make it go even slightly fast, will derail on a regular basis, which is why where it comes in where every two minutes the kids will be like, help us put it back in the track, help us put it back in the track, and it just, it's not, it's really not a toy. It's, a, like I said, it's like a piece for decoration. That's what it is. So let's uh, give it a go. I just want to say, obviously, this will ride on the ground as well, although it kind of has this thing where it turns to one direction, I think the way the wheel spins. So if you're just playing with this uh, riding on the floor. It's cool and all, but it doesn't go straight, which is kind of a pain in the neck. You can't even have fun with it that way. Uh, i turn it on. Actually, yeah, we're looking at the reviews. For one, uh, the sounds on the remote are extremely obnoxious. Whoop, stop, stop. There you go. All right, there, I almost drove away there. Has three buttons for audio. This one's kind of all right. It's there. It's kind of cool too. And as you turn it, obviously it goes forward or backwards, and it moves at a decent speed.
you can see this one, if you press it while it's moving, it makes that other annoying yell, the Honda King of the North Pole. It's incredibly obnoxious. It's not particularly entertaining. And actually, as I looked at the reviews, there were people showing how to remove the speakers off this, so it stopped uh, playing that. So those are my two cents. Like I said, I think overall uh, the track quality is good. I actually managed to make some trains for uh, the Legos for this. It was uh, somewhat cool. It's, there's just, there, there really just isn't anything fun to this. So if you're thinking of getting this toy, honestly get it for like a grandma or grandpa or someone who likes trains and wants something pretty around their Christmas tree. Don't get it for a child who wants to play with a train because seriously, even if there's just one of these carts had little, little doors that you could open or like a cart where you could put things on the top, it would be so much more fun for a child to play. But it doesn't have any of that. It constantly slips off the track. I, I guess if you got significantly more rails for this, it could be more fun. But, but once again, you run into that issue of just each cart is one solid piece of plastic that does nothing except having spinning wheels in the back and on the bottom of it. Those are my two cents. Kids really don't care much for this set, and I don't. I, as an adult, I don't really find it either like particularly entertaining. Just because yeah, it's not fun to play with. It's it's great to have in your home to look at, and that's about it. So yeah, those are my two cents.